playoff loss against the Knicks? Um, really just uh, improving my physicality and then also um, working on uh, shot making, ball handling, um, just a, a lot of offensive uh, uh, plays, um, playmaking as well. Um, a lot of different aspects to my offensive side of the game. I feel like I, I got my defensive side pretty down, so um, just working on, on those uh, few things. And you were mentioning how you hope that you guys can go way further this year. Um, what's it going to take to take that next step as, as a team? Um, really just playing as a team um, and, and locking in with each other, making each other better. Um, to go as far as possible, uh, especially when it gets hard down the stretch in the playoffs, um, just coming together even closer and, um, and, and w whatever we've been doing throughout the whole entire season, just uh, making that work for us. Hey, Evan, Nate Allard from the Akron Beacon Journal. Um, Kobe Altman was just up here telling us, uh, you know, you had invested in a home gym and a nutrition plan. Can you tell us about you know, that, what went into it, why did you decide to do it, and, and what benefits do you think you've gotten from it already? Um, yeah, that was a big focus um, going into this summer. Um, I feel like as a player, just me growing and, and getting better, um, adding that aspect to my, uh, like, off-season work and also on-season as well um, is really going to help me and benefit me. So that's the reason why I, I chose to do it. And um, also added, like, weight room in, into my um, house and um, had chef and nutrition as well um, throughout the whole summer, just trying to um, build my body up. And I feel like your body's like uh, the temple. And um, it, as long as you keep building that up, um, everything else will follow. Did you gain weight in the off season, or like, can you tell us like what you may have, you know, um, right now? Last season playing weight was probably around two fifteen. Uh, it would fluctuate up and down. Um, right now I'm like two twenty two ish. Um, so I feel like I gained about like seven pounds of muscle um, throughout this whole process and. I'm still working as well um, through, through the season as well, so. Oh, well, uh, we're bringing in Tristan Thompson, a guy that's been a part of deep playoff runs, won a championship here. Is he somebody you plan on having conversations with in terms of, you know, learning things about your game and getting better? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, he's a great vet. Um, I've heard a lot um, from him, uh, from players that has been here before and uh, how, how his vet skills and um, teaching me new things will, will definitely help, and as well as Max Struess as well. He's, he went far in the uh, playoffs last year, so um, just really just picking their brain and, and learning from them so uh, we can really excel uh, later in the year. My only follow-up to that is... Uh you know, what's your take on the roster, roster as a whole? You mentioned Max Struess and with Tristan. Well, what's kind of your take on this year's team compared to last? Do you have something that you felt last year's team was maybe missing? Um, I feel like we definitely added more shooting um, with Max Struess, George. Um, also got a new guard, Ty Jerome, as well. Um, so I feel like we definitely upgraded a little bit. Um, and um, I feel like our team is very strong now, and uh, we have a lot of good different pieces um, off the bench and uh, starting five as well, so. Dubs Valentine, WOVU. Evan, going through the playoff experience last year, what did you gain from that? And after going through that, what did you know that you really needed to improve on most? Thank you. Um, I gained mostly uh, experience. Um, just being in that atmosphere. I feel like um, also playing in the garden as well was, uh, let's say, one of the top atmospheres for the playoffs. So uh, experience that as well. Um, that's probably the biggest thing I, I learned from the whole entire process. And uh, from there, I just uh, continue to work on what I already knew I needed to work on throughout the, um, the whole entire season. So, yeah. Spencer Davies, Hoop Industry. Evan, when you look at your offensive game, um, what ways do you feel like you can kind of uh, develop that a little bit more further this year? Um, I know that uh, Coach was talking about kind of maybe using you in some dribble handoffs, maybe using you in some, some pick and roll, whatever. Yeah, um, I feel like I'm going to handle the ball um, a little more uh, this year. Um, when I get the rebounds, pushing it up the floor, um, creating flow for our, te our, for our teammates, and um, creating a faster pace so we can score easier down the floor. Um, also, just um, 
shooting as well. Um, we'll be shooting a lot more this year, I feel like, uh, from outside, and then also just developing my strength in, inside as well um, and finishing. Jeff. Jeff Jadal, News here. I'll, I have more questions about your, your gym. Uh, how, how big is that gym that you put in there? I mean, I don't know the exact size, um, but I got everything I need. Which is what, besides uh, the weight? Um, dumbbells, kettlebells, um, full rack, um, pull-up bar, um, anything, you name it, I, I basically have. But, but you don't have a hoop in there, do you? Oh, no. No, okay. No. Um, and, and then uh, how, long, how difficult is it to maintain that nutrition and that workout regimen you have during the season? Um, it's a little difficult, um, but it's just uh, finding your pace and finding exactly what you need to do to uh, get done with the schedule because um, it's a lot of long flights, long nights, and stuff like that. So you just got to um, take it day by day and, and really know what's best for you for that day. Evan, how difficult was it to get over the playoff loss against New York? Um, it was a, a little difficult. Um, I just like to keep moving forward, though, um, uh, reflect back as much as I can, learn from it, and then keep moving forward. Um, just really remember um, what happened, but don't dwell on, on the past. So, yeah. You said you got a personal chef? Yeah. What's the go-to meal that you have them cook for you? Uh, it switches. Um, eat a lot of pasta. Um, chef got me into more steaks recently. Um, that's part of the main like go-to meals that I go to right now. Did you have to eliminate anything from your diet, like sweets, chicken, anything like that? No, nah, I mostly add. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so it's time for two more. Uh, Mitch Pinnell, 92, through the fan. Hello, Evan. Um, in terms of your relationship with a guy like Jarrett Allen, did you guys get together and talk about or work on anything in the offseason that you guys can keep uh, growing into, particularly your work in the post? Um, yeah, uh, we, we talk a lot with our coaches as well. Um, they talk with us and uh, relay the messages back and forth, and um, they, we both work on the same things in the offseason um, and, and what our coaches want us to work on to um, incorporate during the season. So, um, and then now, uh, as we see each other more often, we're going to keep working more and more. So, Hey, Evan, Zach Smith, WRGM. You were a finalist for the Defensive Player of the Year Award last year. Are you aiming to maybe win that award this year? And then what are some personal goals you have for the upcoming season? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, that's uh, one of the goals of mine to definitely get. Um, and also just um, all-star, hopefully. Um, uh, I, got, I have a few goals uh, in mind uh, this year, and uh, I'm really looking to take off this year and, um, and, and, and do well. One more, Rachel. Hi, Evan. Rachel Hill, WOVU. Um, I wanted to know, you said you're working on your shot more. Have you been working on your three-point shot as well? Yeah, um, all, all aspects of shooting um, in general um, I've been really working on. Uh, that's been one of the main focuses over uh, the summer, and um, I feel like I've uh, definitely gotten a lot better at it. And, um, hopefully this year you'll, you'll see the difference. And my follow-up is, what would you say you've learned about yourself as a second-year player in the NBA? What have you learned about yourself as a player? Um, I feel like just the comfortability factor just keeps going up every single year. Um, I feel like uh, in college, in high school, um, as you go through the years, every year you gradually get better. And usually by junior year, uh, if not senior year, um, you tend to things click way more faster and better because you've been through the process already for two years straight. So that's why I feel like right now um, a lot more things are, are clicking way faster. And um, I know the, the whole entire aspect of the NBA and how it works and everything. So uh, I'm feeling a lot more com comfortable and confident going into this year. Thank you. Hey. Yeah.